Well, here's the star of the show, Jonathan Baker. Well, a good evening, everybody, and welcome to our proud broadcast of Texas League Baseball here in the South Texas region. Well, tonight, the third of six games between the visiting Midland Rockhounds and your San Antonio Missions. Well, the Missions, they continue to hold the first place position in the South. Arkansas holding the first place in the North. And so far, it is pretty good. Well, tonight, the Missions are looking for their 36th in this homestand for the year. And so far, they are going to try to get it here this evening. Well, if San Antonio, through this homestand, wins to get up to 39 or even 38 wins, then they will get the chance of being in the Texas League playoffs. But the first place still has to remain intact in order for that to continue onward. Well, Corpus Christi, they will trail three and a half games from San Antonio, Amarillo trails just one game against Corpus Christi. Midland will trail two and a half games back of Amarillo. And Fresco in last place as losing to Springfield by the final of 6-2 to two there at Statesman's Park. 28-36 Frisco, they trail just one game and a half back of Midland. With Arkansas being in first place in the north, they will lead two and a half games against the Tulsa Drillers. And boy, a lot from Springfield and Wichita and northwest Arkansas. And I got to say, they got a long way to climb up as pretty much losing in the 30s column. I mean, Springfield looking at 33 and 32 Wichita 28 and 36, Northwest Arkansas at 26 and 39 of the year. So that's not an easy decision to getting up in the Texas League playoffs. And so far, this homestand is pivotal to San Antonio and holding on to the first place position against Corpus Christi, Amarillo, Midland, and Frisco in the South Division. Well, tonight is the third of six games, and so far we're going to go ahead and send it down to the field as this has been our little pregame show. And so far it is time for us to get started with Thursday Night Baseball, our live broadcast brought to you by our friends at Dr. Pepper and 7-Eleven, our new family member. And so far, you could get some pretty cool things from 7-Eleven, even slushies and slurpees and all types of things right here in San Antonio, Texas, also in Universal City, Texas as well. Well, for me and Bob being in the booth, I want to say, hey, Bob, it's good to see you again. Well, it's good to see you too, John. So, uh... We had a pretty good night last night, but San Antonio taking the loss at 7-5. to Rockhounds taking that second game of the six-game series. Now, I know they were pretty much tied in the bottom half of the eighth inning. And Midland, they score in a pair of runs on a wild pitch against San Antonio. And got to say, so far tonight could be a pretty good night for the Missions as they try to claim the 36th of the season. Yes, and I got to say, tonight is a pivotal moment for San Antonio in a deep way. It really is. Well, Bob, we're going to go ahead and send it down to the field, and we are about ready to get started for this Thursday night live stream of Texas League Baseball. Boy, it is just such a beautiful night as we're about ready to get underway of this third of six games. And it is Friday Eve, so we're going to get in there and have a pretty good time here this evening. 
We're back here with the first pitch right after our proud sponsor of 7-Eleven. Any 7-Eleven Thursday, you could get a pretty good, decent Slurpee for just $2.99. That's a cheap price. Well, Frank Contreras will be called upon to pitch here for San Antonio as he takes the ball from the manager. As 5'10 and 210 pounds, an age 23 right-hander will step on the hill for the missions here in this ball game. Well, Logan Davidson coming in. He'll be tonight's designated hitter. And here is the three magic words. Let's play ball as that one is fouled in a way and the count now is nothing and one. So we are underway at 7.07. Two minutes just ahead of 7.05's first game pitch. That one right there, the count now is nothing and two. Still getting a lot of fans coming in and knowingly that tickets are being punched in and it is pretty good that one high fly and that will go foul when the count now nothing and two Midland at San Antonio Springfield at Frisco Amarillo at Corpus Christi Northwest Arkansas at Tulsa and Arkansas at Wichita here's the 0-2 and again he sends that one out of play and foul so the count now still remains at nothing and two. Oh and two. And that's gonna be right there up and right fielder. Right fielder Joshua Mears as they will get in for a no out single. Boy, just a beautiful night for a lot of us here in San Antonio. And I gotta say a lot of African dust coming in as a lot of it comes overseas. And now here is Mickey McDonald as he takes one down and in for a ball and the count now 1-0. McDonald, he averages at a opposition of a 3.33. .333, I do say. Right there, down and in for a ball and the count now two balls, no strikes. Duo. And that one is out of play. The count now two and one. Early Taco Bell double play. Anytime the missions overturn on a double play, you could get two free tacos courtesy of Taco Bell. Here's a two one. Swing and a miss. Boy, he's going after him now. The count now two and two. You guys are pretty good fans still piling in, Bob. Yes, it's pretty good. You come in and have a good time. And strike three. He swings and misses. And McDonald will be the first sacrifice of the night. And Contreras, he gets the first strikeout of the night. And so far, so good for San Antonio pitching. Here's Jeremy Ironman, the hot corner third baseman. As he takes one down and in for a ball and the count now one and all. 1-0 delivery. Boy, we got our second viewer coming in. Welcome in to our viewers here in YouTube Live. 1-0. That one down and outside for a ball and the count now 2-0. 2-0. Two balls, no strikes. And a pitch. And that's going to be line drive up to left center. And that's going to get through for a base hit. And they're going to race him home. And the runner from first is safely aboard. And it's a 1-0 Midland lead. So Midland needs two more games in order to catch Amarillo. And so far three to Corpus Christi. In now, Tyler Soderstrom, as he's got a RBI double. And that's going to be hit to Javier, and he'll get him right to Fernandez. And that ground ball is now at first base for the out for two. 
In now, let's go ahead and give the visiting Midland Rockhounds the starting lineups. And so far, Bob, last night, 7-5 to five the final as they take the second game of the six-game series. Yeah, and it's pretty phenomenal that they put the bats alive in that ball game last night. And I will say tonight, they're doing it well again. Well, San Antonio needs to come back up and try to get this game well in their favor. Yeah, I know. It's going to be pretty rough around the edges if they don't get in there. And they, they get in and they run out of outs just like they did last night. High fly in the air. Albert Fabian in pursuit makes the play. Well, Jeremy Ironman, hot corner third baseman, will get a run on two hits, no errors. And a man left on base. So it's now on to the bottom half of the first inning. Midland up by one. Well, Parker Dunchy, a right-hander, will... Get the starting assignment, 6-0, 215 pounds in H-28. And, Bob, does this guy have a full potential? Well, I think he really does. I mean, he's got a pretty good... He's got a good reservoir of a four-seam, a change-up, a slider, and a two-seamer. And that's going to be high fly in the air up in left field, and... Boy, the first out of the inning comes quick. As it did yesterday, the missions just high flies to the bottom half of the home eighth inning. And they had four runs. They tie up the ball game, but end up losing on a wild pitch there at the top half of the eighth inning. So far, the... Ball game was seven to five as they lose on two runs. Here's Wander Javier. She comes in. And that is gonna be high fly right there, and that will bounce the wall. And that will be in the count now, nothing and one. Here's the O one. Swing and a miss, and the count now 0-2. Boy, swinging out of what that was, well, that's just a wild swing. Hmm, you're not kidding. Here's the 0-2. And high fly in the air. Boy, in left field, he grills it. Right out. Get out of here, ball. Hallelujah. Boy, he smokes that one. And that's the first one for Wander Javier of the night. As the great Matt Vasgersian would always say, Santa Maria. Yeah, wh whatever happened to Matt Vasgersian? Well, I got to say, Bob, as you may know, that Matt, he's been gone since... 2021 oh really yep he retired he retired and Mark De La Rosa he was also the partner oh wow so that's pretty good so uh, they come in and how many years has Matt done uh, MLB the show well, since the 2001 season all the way to 2021. Wow. So he's did 21 years of hard work. Well, you could say that. I mean, if it was that long, it probably was. Well, the first baseman, Juan Fernandez, will come in. So far, one run on... One base hit by Wander Javier. And that's going to be high fly in the air, up in center. And that's going to do for this one. So one run, one hit, no errors, and nobody left. As we now head for the top of the middle in second, we're tied up again at one and one.
Well, leading off for Midland is Chase Kalibwig as he comes in to the top of the second inning for the Rockhounds. Yep, sure does, Bob. In the pitch, right there and inside, taking in for a code strike. It's nothing and one. So far, Kalibwig last night getting a lot of those home runs. Yeah, really, he's been really exceptional hitter as he's going in and trying to get things going. Boy, and that's going to be an RBI triple as he comes in. Ball higher than all get out right there, Bob. Yeah, he really did. In now, Dermis Garcia, .207 average. The pitch. And that's going to be right there. Line drive, and that's going to bring in the run. And that is now a 2-1 to one Midland breaking the tie in the top of the second inning for the Rockhounds. In now, Trenton Brooks. Brooks coming in, and Jackson Merrill, cat-like reflexes there, just shy of second. Getting the first out of the inning. And Cooper Bowman coming in and about ready to go here. In the pitch. And that one high fly in the air. And that will be the count now. Nothing and one. Here's the 0 1. Down and in. One ball, one strike. One and one. Here's the pitch. And that one is fouled. And the way the count now is one and two. Still, again, we have the Taco Bell advantage. So anytime the missions overturn a Taco Bell double play, everybody in attendance gets two free tacos courtesy of our friends there at Taco Bell. Two and two. Swing and a miss. Boy, he gets them. So that was a easy out. And so far, pretty good. And now the leadoff hitter, Logan Davidson. As he takes in a coach strike, it's nothing and one. No balls, one strike. The pitch. And right there inside for a coach strike, gets nothing and two. No balls, two strikes count. The pitch. And that's going to be hit right there. Javier steps on the bag at second. And he will force him out easily. Will Garcia will get a run on a hit. No errors and a man left on. As we go now to the bottom of two. The Rockhounds up two to one. Leading off for the mission. Third baseman, well, the hot corner third baseman, Lucas Dunn, ready to come in. In the pitch. That one high and inside for a coach strike. It's nothing and one. Right there outside, down at the, down at the corner. The count now is one and one. Right there and outside, the count now is one ball and two strikes. That one hit the third. Zip lines it right to first, and they get him easily. He's out. Well, the designated hitter is Grant Little.
as he comes in. And that one taken well and inside for a coach strike. It's nothing and one. What well, a beautiful Thursday night. Everybody come out to the ball game and enjoy yourselves. That one right there. Line drive up the center. And boy, that gets in front of the second baseman. And the center fielder, the shortstop, gets on second base and protects it. Jackson Merrill coming in, and he swings and misses at the initial offering. For Coach Strike, it's nothing and one. No balls, one strike to Jackson Merrill. And that's going to be hit to second for one. And they relay it. And that will be a double play. And so far, Midland celebrates that double play with relatively ease. As that would be no runs on a hit, no errors, and nobody left on. As we head for the top of the third, Midland holds the one-run advantage against San Antonio. By two to one. Mickey, Mickey McDonald, he's 0 for 1 to strike out in the first. As he comes in. And that one is high in the air right there in front of Albert Fabian. And boy, the ball is starting to get away from the infielders. Now batter, the third baseman, Jeremy. Well, the hot corner third baseman, that is Jeremy Ironman. Getting ready to go here. And the pitch. And right there and inside for a code strike. It's nothing and one. Well, tomorrow, Friday night baseball, 7.05, our first pitch. Three games left from Midland and a three-day off week as we have after Sunday. Boy, you got to say, and it's going to be pretty good after Sunday's game. Here's the 0-2. And that's going to be high flying in the air. And uh-oh, they miss it. Well, that's not good when you screw your ball club that way. <laughs> You're not kidding. The battle. And what will happen now? Does that right fielder get an error? Well, I think Joshua Mears deserves that error. Well, in my little mind, I don't think they will credit him with anything. And then right there is inside. The coach strike gets nothing and one. So that base hit will be an RBI triple. Runner at third. And so far, Midland... Looking to get in and salvage another win here tonight. That'll put them one game ahead of trailing Amarillo just by one. Here's the 0-2. And right there, swing and a miss. And Soderstrom goes down on strikes. The center fielder, number nine, Beck. And that'll bring up Austin Beck. He's 0-for-1 fly out in the first inning. Here's a pitch. And right there and inside for taking code strike. And it's nothing and one. We're top of three. Midland three, San Antonio one. And taking well and inside for a code strike. It's nothing and two. San Antonio trails just two runs against the Midland Rockhounds. And right there, back to back strikeouts. So far, keeping the runner at third stranded is what they're trying to do here tonight. That'll bring up Chase Calibwig as he comes in. And the pitch. That's high fly, and that will go out of play.
No balls, one strike. The pitch. And right there, boy, he swings and misses outside. And the count now is nothing and two. Oh, and two. And that one is high flying in. And Lopes, just shy of the warning track, will make the play. Well, Jeremy Ironman will get two runs on one hit. No errors and a man left. So we go to the bottom of three, and it's Medlin three, San Antonio one. Well, Albert Fabian will be the left fielder. He'll come in and so far try to salvage what's left of this ball game. And that one high fly in the air. Third baseman. That's out number one. Boy, a lot of three up, three down innings. That is just really going to kill you in the end. <laughs> well, you're not kidding, Bob. Yeah, right there and inside taken in for a coach strike. It's nothing and one. And that's a swing and a miss. And the count now 0 and 2. Here's the pitch. And that one's high high fly in the air, up and right center. And that is out number two. Now batting, center fielder, Tim. And that's going to bring up the center fielder, Tim Lopes. And right there, he swings and misses at the initial offering. And the count now, nothing and one. And that's going to be high fly up and left field. And so far, that does it. Injustice right there. No runs, no hits, no errors, nobody on base. As we end three, it's 3 1 Midland. First baseman is Dermes Garcia as we head top of four. And that's going to be hit to Jackson Merrill. Flip it right to Juan Fernandez. And that's an easy play there at first. Here's the eight-hole cleanup hitter, Trenton Brooks. See line out in the second inning. And is 0 for 1 of the afternoon. So right there, that's going to be fouled off. And the count now, nothing and one. Here's the pitch. High fly in the air, up and left center. Lopes will make the play, and got to say, that is pretty impressive as now there is two away in the top of the fourth inning, and that will only be left Cooper Bowman. Here's a pitch. And right there at the knee-high corner, called in for a strike, gets nothing and one. That one down and in for a ball in the count now, one and one. One ball, one strike, the count. And the pitch. And right there and inside taken in. It's one and two. Here's the pitch. And that one high fly in the air and that will go out of play and foul. High fly in the air. Juan Fernandez makes the play. And that will do it. No runs, no hits, no errors. As we head for the bottom of four. And it is three to one. Medlin. We're back with Wander Javier as he's one for one and a solo home run. Back in the first inning.
as we'll be right back right after our commercial message. So we'll start up the bottom of four when we return. We're back at three, two, one. All right, Wander Javier is coming in for San Antonio. As we are about ready to go for the bottom half of four on this Thursday night. So far, that one taken well and inside for a code strike. It's nothing and one. And that one line drive up to left field. That gets through for a base hit. Well, that brings in the tying run. And that brings in the right fielder, Joshua Mears. And right there, he swings and misses at the initial offering. That one taken in for a coach strike. It's nothing and one. Here's the pitch. And that one's going to be high fly in the air. And that's a diving catch by the right fielder. And boy, he protects that right field with everything he's got. And you can look at where that one was. Top speed at 19 and a half miles an hour. He covered 99.9% .9 of the route. And his distance was 49 feet. So far, so good for that really good one right there. And that's going to be right there. Boy, he stops. And they'll get him out at second. But meanwhile, they over try to overturn a double play. And here is the hot corner third baseman, Lucas Dunn. Dunn coming in. And that one's going to be high fly in the air. And the left fielder will make the play, and that's it. So no runs on a hit. And no errors in a man left. So we go up to the top of the fifth now. Medlin still holding on three to one. Well, Logan Davidson will lead it off. He is a one for two. We're about ready to go, and he takes one right there and inside for a code strike. It's nothing and one. So far, halfway through this game here tonight has been a lot of zeros. So far, sun going down, and so far, nighttime just a few hours away. And that's right there, and that will be in the count now. Nothing and two. No one two. And that one high fly in the air. In left center is Tim Lopes, as he'll make the play for out number one. The right fielder, Mickey McDonald. The right fielder, Mickey McDonald, will step in. One for two, single, and a run. And the pitch. And that one's right there up to left center. And that'll get through for the one-out single. Boy, and it's one pitch that Medlin always gets. And they're getting on base early here in this half inning. And now Jeremy Ironman, the hot corner third baseman. And 
Boy, got to say, that right there. And, and now that's second and third now. Boy, and that's a really screw-up job right there. When you really think that you're going to get that guy at third, then you have a runner at first, he can advance forward to second and get a free pass that way to get on base. Hmm, you're not kidding, Bob. Tyler Soderstrom coming in. He struck out ground out 0 for 2 of the night. And the 0-1. Down and in, one ball, one strike. Boy, Contreras, he's really letting this game get under his skin. Two and one. And that's the count now, two balls and one strike. Here's the 2-1. Swing and a miss, and that's a count now. Two balls, two strikes. Two and two. And that's high fly in the air. Hot corner, third baseman done. Looks at it. And two are now retired here in this half inning. And that's going to bring in Austin Beck. He's two for two. 0 for 2 of the night with strikeout and a flyout. And the pitch. And that right there heads to Dunn. As he'll throw him easily and they will tight rope out of danger. As no runs on a couple of hits, no errors to left. And we now head for the bottom of the fifth. It is 3 to 1 at Midland. Leading up. Designated hitter Grant Little single in the second is one for one. As now he is getting up at the plate with the tying run coming just on the on deck circle. And that one hit the third. Zip lines it right to first as they'll get him by his step. Well, they out. Well, Jackson Merrill is coming in. He's 0 for 1 to ground out in the second. And is ready to go. The pitch. And that one is fouled in the way. The count, nothing and one. Boy, and it's really getting halfway through this game. And that one is high fly in the air. High blistered. And boy, right on the warning track is that one. Was 99 miles an hour, but he tracks it down. But not far enough. Just a few more inches and it would have been gone. And that one fouled in the way. The count now nothing and one. Oh, Jackson Merrill, the seven batter, goes down as out number two. And that's going to be line drive. And that's going to get up to right center for a base hit. Now again, the tying run will come up on deck. And that is the nine batter, Michael Cantu. And that one fouled and away. The count 0-1. Fly out in the third. 0-1 by the catcher tonight. And the pitch. And that one is outside. One ball, one strike. Here's the 1-1. One, one. And that hit the third. And they'll force him out a second. And that does it. No runs on a hit. No errors. And a man left. As we head for the top of the six. It's three to one Midland. Well, Chase Calabuig is one for two, triple and a run. 
as we get set for the top of the sixth. And that one swing and a miss at the initial offering taken in for code strike by Frank Contreras. That one high fly in the air. Joshua Mears makes the play. Quickly two, re one retired here in the top of the Midland six inning. Now Dermis Garcia stepping in for Midland. It's one for two single RBI. In the pitch right there, swing and a miss. That's initial offering called for a strike going one. No balls, one strike. The pitch. And right there, Jeff Andrews says he went around for a code strike. It's nothing and two. 0-2. Oh Down and in, one ball and two strikes. 1-2 and two delivery. And that one is chopped foul. The count now still remains at 1-2. and two. 67 pitches for the starter of Frank Contreras. And the pitch. And that one is fouled in the way. The count still holding on at 1 and 2. And that's a swing and a miss. Garcia goes down on strikes. Now the designated hitter, Trenton. Well, the designated hitter, Trenton Brooks, flight out, line out, 0 for 2. Man, that's a pitch in and the count now. With the count now, one ball and no strikes. Boy, what in the heck is that noise? Highway 90 sure is making a lot of noises. That missed, that's a ball. Two balls, no strikes. Trenton Brooks. Right there to Fernandez. He'll step on the bag. And he'll complete the out. As that will be the inning over. Well, no runs, no hits, no errors. And nobody left on base. As we now head for the bottom half of the sixth inning. For San Antonio. And it is three to one Medlin. No Tim Lopes coming in. As he swings and misses at the initial offering. He's taken in for a coach strike. It's nothing and one. That one down and outside for the ball in the count now. One and one. And that one line drive up to right center and that gets through for a base hit. That'll bring up Wander Javier. He was a home run last time up. And that one's high fly in the air in left field. Boy, he misses it. Right there. As that will put second and third now. Boy, he blistered that ball right there, Bob. He sure did. Boy, what a great teamwork and I thought that ball was almost gone but that will put runners safely at second and third nobody out and that's a good opportunity right there they come in to score only you need to base hit they sure do Bob right there Joshua Mears he fouls one off the count now nothing and one he's 0 for 2 with the fly out and line out Looking to get in the tying run at second. That one right there, high fly, and that will go out of play and foul. The count now is 0 and 2. Here's the pitch. And that one is high in the air. And here comes the runner. 
And in the score from second. And now that will be an RBI sacrifice. And that will bring in Juan Fernandez. Well, tie up this ball game and that'd be pretty good right there. Swing and a miss at the initial offering by Parker Dunchy. The count now is nothing and one. So far the weekend, three games left of what is probably the first half. But first half will wrap up with Corpus Christi as we'll come back and get a three game series with Northwest Arkansas once we start up our three game set with the Naturals that one outside one ball and two strikes tying run at third looking for a base hit by Juan Fernandez and that one is fouled in the way and the count now still holds at one and two. One ball, two strikes. The pitch. And that's a line drive and that's up the middle and that'll get him home. Let's tie up the ball game. Now at three and three. Boy, RBI single by Fernandez. And that'll bring up the hot corner third baseman, Lucas Dunn. And that's going to be high fly in the air. And that's going to get down for a base hit. And that'll put runners in scoring position once again. Second and third. As boy, that ball curved like you wouldn't even believe how fast that ball was going. I could tell about 103 miles an hour. Yeah, triple digit fastball. And now time is being called as here comes the manager. And that's going to do for the starter, Parker Dunshee, as he's being relieved out of this ball game. He's responsible for the two runners on second and third. And that'll bring up Brady Feigl. 6'4", 235 pounds, and age 27, right-hander. Get the starting assignment here for a relief position. And the pitch. And that one's high flying in the air. And there ain't no choice but to hold positions as that will be an automatic fly out. Jackson well, Jackson Merrill will come in and he'll try to see what's going on. He needs to put the ball in play and put two more runs to give San Antonio a lead. And that one high and outside for ball one. Wow. And the count now one and no. Here's the 1-0. And that one too high again. And the count now 2-0. Jackson Merrill had a 2-0 advantage. And right there inside for a coach strike, it's 2-1-1. With the bottom of six, we're tied at three. Second and third runners with two away. And right there to first base, that ends the inning. But a tie ball game as it comes in all shapes and sizes. As three runs on three hits, no errors. And at least nobody left on base. We go top of seven and it is tied at three. Well, it's two runs, John. Oh, two runs. Okay, well, we got two runs on three base hits. Yeah. 
Yeah, you said three. Well, my apologies, Bob. Here's the 0 1. And right there, that is foul. And the count now on two to Cooper Bowman. And right there, swing and a miss. And boy, he swings at it for the first out of the inning. Well, they bring up the first batter, Logan Davidson. As he comes in and he's ready to go. And the pitch. And that's high flying in the air, and that will go out of play. No balls, one strike. No balls, one strike. The pitch. And that's a swing and a miss. And the count now is nothing and two. High Under it is Joshua Mears, and he's got it for out number two. Now got it. Right fielder, Nicky McDonald. Well, Nicky McDonald is two for three, two singles and a run. As he comes in a, across the score during his last time up. It's two for three of the night. Trying to make it a three for three of the evening. And the 0-1. And outside and the count now. Is one and one. One one. And that one right there is foul ball. One ball, two strikes. The pitch. And right there, strike three gets him down. And now it's time to get up and stretch your legs. It's seventh inning stretch time as we are tied at three even. Albert Fabian coming in a one for two single in the fifth. Stry up for San Antonio. And the pitch. And that one's gonna be line drive up to right field and that's gonna get through for a base hit. And boy, Fabian, he's going for two. And that's going to be a no-out double. Well, the fans are going nuts tonight. And everybody in attendance tonight is getting that coupon for the double meat cheeseburger. And medium fried choice of onion rings. And that favorite drink of ours that we proudly salute to Dr. Pepper. Or whatever drink you like, but what do you prefer, Bob? Well, as being a diabetic, I have to go half and half on sweet and unsweet tea. Wow. Well, Michael Cantu coming in. And that one's going to be high fly in the air. And boy, is that one going. And it sure did. It nearly had it. And that's going to be right there at third. And that one looked tight to me, didn't it to you? Oh, yeah, it sure did. It was so high that it almost got out of here. Well, center fielder Tim Lopes coming in. And he's got a chance of an RBI. And there we go, high fly in the air, and that's going to get some chances to come in across the score. And he's going for it. And they'll pick him off on a terrible mistake right there. And Lopes thought he would have gotten in, but dangerous as he got right there at third and got picked off easily and that's going to be high flying out of play and the count now is nothing and one 
three for three home run, double single by Javier tonight. San Antonio up a run, four to three the score. As missions take the lead here in this half inning. Well, that would do. So one run on a couple of base hits, no errors, nobody left. It's on now to the top of the eighth inning. San Antonio up ahead by one. Four to three missions in this ball game. The hot corner third baseman, Jeremy Ironman, three for three, triple, double, and a single, plus the run that he inherited while back in. Well, that's going to do for the starter of Frank Contreras as that'll bring in Moises Lugo, the 6'1", 185 pounds, and age 24. We'll get the starting assignment for San Antonio in relief. In the pitch. And that one far and outside. It's one ball, no strikes. Ironman, he's home run of a cycle. And here's the pitch. That one is fouled in the way. The count now is at one and one. The pitch. And that one right there, and boy, Fernandez stops it. And boy, the starting reliever, Lugo, goes out there at first, and he stops the ball. And what a remarkable play as he says, hurry up to Lugo, and he gets the first man out for this top half. Tyler Soderstrom is coming in as he hits one high fly in the air, and that will go out of play. You know, the count now, nothing and one. Midland down to their final five outs of tonight's ball game. And so far tonight is pivotal to the missions. Is trying to win this ball game and trying to clinch the 36th victory. That one's high fly in the air. And boy, Mears trying to go after it. And that's going to bring in an RBI triple possibility. The center fielder, number nine, <laughs> and that's going to bring in Austin Beck. Beck coming in, and he takes one right there in that side for a coach strike. Gets nothing and one. Runner at third, the tying run, the go ahead for Midland. Just at the plate, that is Austin Beck. And that's going to be high fly in the air. And that's going to get down. And that's going to be an RBI double. And the ball game is tied up again. Oh, and Chase Calabwig is coming in. As now that's a one for three man for Midland. And that is going to be pop foul in the count now. Nothing and one. He tripled run as one for three. Here's the 0 1. And that's high fly in the air. And that will go up in right field. And that goes out of play and foul. And the count now is nothing and two. The pitch. Swing and a miss. And he goes down. Boy, keep the deficit right where it is. And bottom half of the eighth, San Antonio might just come back and just glue their heads up to the top of the garage door. <laughs> hey, you're funny, Jonathan. Well, ain't I always. Here's Dermis Garcia. He's one for three, single RBI. And looking pretty sharp. Here's the 0 one Swing and a miss, and he's getting them. Right there and in for a cold strike. It's nothing and two. Well, this ball game almost over on a Thursday night. And swing and a miss, and he gets them. And that will strand the runner right off from second. 
And Midland will get this ball game tied. And it's four runs and ten hits to both sides. And San Antonio needs to crack this tie as they will get forward to the top of the ninth. Here's Joshua Mears, right fielder here. And that's going to be right there. And that will go to the right fielder for the out. You know, that'll bring in Juan Fernandez. He's one for three, single RBI. You know, nighttime starting to close in. And that's going to be line drive up this right center. And that gets through for a base hit. Boy, and... San Antonio breaks the the hit column with their 11th hit of the night. And now here comes the hero, the hot corner and gold glove winner of 2023. Third baseman, Lucas Dunn. And that will go out of play in foul over the first baseman's head. Here's the 0-1. And that's going to be high fly in the air. And that's getting down. So two back-to-back -back base hits. And now give it a little more fuel. Push your pedal to the metal, young man. Here's a DH Grant Little. And that's getting down for a base hit. And now San Antonio, three singles, and now bases are now juiced. Now that bring in Jackson Merrill. He's got a chance. Put the ball in play, and and there we go. Here's one. Here's two. And they won't get him. He's safely aboard on a two-run double. And San Antonio, boy, they're celebrating. Yeah, whack it over the fence by Jackson Merrill. Boy, and that base hit would give you 12 crispy tacos for lunch tomorrow afternoon. You know, Garrett Acton. Getting the call as the manager says, hey, come out and see what you could do about this deficit. 6'3", 215 pounds, and age 24. Two runs. San Antonio takes back the lead from the Rockhounds. And that one high and outside for a ball, and the count now 1-0. Two for three, double single, and a run by Albert Fabian who is also the left fielder of San Antonio's missions tonight. And that one's going to be high fly in the air, and that will not be enough for a tag up. And Fabian goes down as the second casualty here in the bottom half of the eighth. Michael Cantu looking to get more runs in. Putting it up to four would be very huge. And that's going to bring in one run. And that ain't going to do it. And he's back in safely at third. Boy, almost pickoff play right there. It's now San Antonio has three runs ahead of Midland. Boy, and I got to say, Bob, that was a close play there at third. Yeah, sure was. He would have been picked off and dead meat right there. And that's going to be line drive up and right center for a base hit. And now make that four runs ahead of the Rockhounds with a potential fifth coming up. 
The San Antonio looking to crush this ball game tonight and clinch their spot in the double A Texas League South Division playoffs. And that one's high fly in the air, and that will do. Boy, four runs on five base hits, or six base hits, no errors. And we head for the top of the ninth, and it is eight to four, San Antonio. Well, Trenton Brooks coming in as he grounded out in the sixth inning. So for three of the ninth. San Antonio looking for their 36th of the season. And that's a swing and a miss. And the count now is nothing and one. Moises Lugo will be the save tonight. And he will get it going. Right there outside, one ball, one strike. So one ball, one strike. In the last of the ninth inning. And that's going to get down for a base hit right up in the right center. So as of right now, 83 degrees. And the temperature starting to drop here as we get closer to the 10 o'clock hour. Hit the pitch. And that one is right there and foul. And the count now, nothing and one. It was a pretty good ball game here tonight, right, Bob? I gotta say, I totally agree that San Antonio took this game by force. They sure did. Yeah, right there, they, the count now is nothing and two. So no balls, two strikes, runner at first. The pitch. And that one's high fly in the air. Mears makes the play. And that is out number one. Now Logan well, Logan Davidson one last time is coming up as he singled run. And is one for four of this ball game. And a pick. And right there inside for a code strike gets nothing and one. Tomorrow night we're back live for Friday night baseball at 7.05. Saturday at 7.05. Sunday at 1 o'clock against Midland. And after that Sunday game, we'll see you in Wednesday, June 28th. As... So far, that will be three off days that we would rest up after a long while. And the 0-2. That's high flying in the air. Mears in pursuit. And he's got it. Boy, and making up a lot of ground on that fastball play. Yeah, really, that is something really good. When you get up there and you get the ball and stuff. Well, the last out of the night, Mickey McDonald. It's two for four of the night. And he takes one right there and inside for a coach strike. And it is nothing and one. Well, so far, we'll give you your wins and losses. And, yeah, we'll go ahead and give you final scores of this Thursday night's contest. So far, top of nine, San Antonio up ahead of Midland, eight to four as Rockhounds are down to their final out. And the 0-1. And that one high fly in the air. Fabian makes a play and the 36 goes to San Antonio. And what a great night it's been for the missions. You gotta say, what a job well done as 
Moises Lugo gets the win, and Brady Feigl will get the loss for Midland. So far with final scores, let's go ahead and give you to them. Boy, Amarillo now catching up with Corpus Christi as they are now 32 and 34. And both sides for the Sod Poodles and Hooks. 34 and 32. Springfield winning against Frisco. They are 34-32 is winning tonight a one-run ball game. In the final three to two. Well, got to say that tonight was a pretty good ball game, and we're looking at scores. Let's see, so far, uh, San, uh, Northwest Arkansas now got their 40th loss of the year, and still being in last place, that's a real butt kicker. As now Tulsa gets their 40th against Northwest Arkansas. Well, for, let's see, Wichita and Arkansas, they are 6 6 tied to bottom half of the eighth inning. And it's already 10 49 p.m. on this Thursday evening. Well, guys, I got to say, pretty good. As we had a pretty good night of baseball. And so far, it's pretty good. Let's see, Wichita 28 and 36. Arkansas is 41 and 24. So this game of theirs still hangs in the balance. But anyway. Well, for all of us, we got to say goodnight and so long until tomorrow evening. What a job well done as San Antonio comes back and gets four runs and that propels them to the win, the bottom half of the eighth inning. Well, player of the game, Wander Javier, three for five with a home run and two, two doubles, which was pretty good for him. And so far, it was pretty good. Well, for all of us here, hope everybody has a good night. Drive home safely. And we'll see you all again later. Have a good night, everybody. And be safe getting home.